Hello, my name is Squidded, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be comparing two of the most popular consumer microphones. The Blue Yeti and the Blue Snowball. These two microphones are both considered to be beginner microphones and we're going to see which one is best suit for you, worth your money, and has the most high quality. So let's get into this video. So first we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Snowball. Now the Blue Snowball is the, mo the more basic of the two microphones and comes in two main forms. The regular Blue Snowball and the Blue Snowball Ice. The original Blue Snowball has more features than the Blue Snowball Ice, but costs around $10 more. The Blue Snowball is usually around $50 depending on where you get it, and the price can waver around $10 either way. So if you're on a lower budget, this is going to be the better option for you out of the two. I recommend this microphone to basic level recorders um, because it's a little bit easier to use, has a lower price range, and is smaller and more portable. So this way, um, you don't have to spend as much money and you still get decent audio quality. I'm going to right now show you how to set this up so you can see if it's simple enough for you. Okay, so we're going to start with setting up the blue snowball. When you open up the box and take out everything, you have the snowball microphone itself, a blue stand, and the microphone's USB cable. Now, the end of this cable uh, looks like this. I don't know what you call that particular type of uh, USB cable there. Um, but if you do get the blue snowball ice, it will have a different kind of USB cable and it won't have this uh, switch here in the back but other than that it'll have the same components so first uh, we can see that this stand has a tripod design so we can simply pull out its legs and they have nice ball tips so they don't scratch your desk if you have a wooden one and you can unscrew this a bit and then that frees the ability to um, pull out the top here like that so you can kind of extend it depending on your needs. Just tighten that back up once you have it how you like it. So looking at the microphone on the bottom we see this little area which has this threaded hole down here and uh, basically you're just going to screw the stand into the microphone turning it in the right hand direction. So you want to make sure it's screwed down all the way and adjusted to how you want it. The good thing about the blue snowball is you can actually adjust it to turn up or down so you just have to kind of pull back. It feels wrong like you're breaking it because it's a little bit difficult but it is made to do that. So after you do that um, you're just going to take this end of the USB cable, this little smaller end here, and you're going to plug it into the back. Just like that. And then, of course, you're going to plug that into the USB port of your computer. You'll see that when you do it correctly, a small indicator light that is red appears on the top of the snowball. This is to show you that the microphone has power and is ready to use. From there, you can just simply record with it and change its settings here. So the Blue Yeti is the more professional of the two options, featuring higher quality audio and overall more options for use. The body of the Blue Yeti is almost completely made out of metal, so it's very heavy and uh, sturdy, but not very portable. If you do want to move it, uh, it does not disconnect from its stand very easily, so you simply just fold it like this, and it's now able to move. The Blue Yeti is great for people who want to have amazing sound quality, but don't want to spend that much money, as the Blue Yeti usually goes for around a hundred or so dollars, again depending on where you get it and what model. The Blue Yeti has many features that the Snowball does not, including a mute button, gain control, and more options for the mode you want the microphone to be in. It also features a built-in headphone interface, 
with a volume knob for that so you can hear your voice as you record it with no delay. I'm going to now show you how to set this up so you can see if it's too complicated for you. Now we're going to be setting up the Blue Yeti. So what we have in the box is simply the microphone and the USB cable. Now you'll notice that the stand seems to be permanently attached to the microphone, which it's not necessarily, and I'll show you that in a minute. First, I'll show you how to adjust it. Simply loosen up the side knobs and you get full range of motion. Then, when you have it in a satisfactory angle, preferably pointing up like so, then you can screw back in the sides. Looking on the body, it uh, the specific model I have, the blue, uh, the blue Yeti Midnight Blue, is uh, made out of metal, so good solid construction, and um, it has many features that the snowballs don't have. Starting with this, this is a mute button, which is great for streaming because if you get interrupted, you can simply mute the microphone and the output will cease until you hit it again. We also have the headphones volume. Um, which there is a headphone jack in the bottom so that you can plug in your headphones. Turning the microphone around, we have two control dials here, which is the gain and the pattern. And what the, pa what the gain is, is that's sort of the volume or the boost of the microphone. So if you're, say, recording just, um, you know, you want the recording to be louder. If you're farther away from the microphone, you turn the gain up. Or if you're very close to the microphone, you turn it down. These have the different modes. So turning it over, as I mentioned earlier, there is a headphone jack and a mini USB cable, and also this. Now, for me, when I got my microphone, there was a black piece of rubber, which you simply just have to peel out. And that reveals the same type of uh, threaded screw hole in the bottom as the Blue Snowball. And uh, with both the Blue Snowball and the Blue Yeti, you can attach this to boom mount stands or any other microphone stands that share uh, the same kind of threading. Which is very nice so that you can record this with omnidirectional mode to record a large group. So now we're going to set up the microphone. It's quite simple. All you have to do, just so with the Snowball, is plug it into the bottom there and plug the USB port into your computer. Just like the snowball, this red indicator light turns on. Now, the indicator light serves more purpose because when you mute the microphone, you simply press it and it starts to flash, indicating to you that the microphone is muted so that you won't accidentally leave it muted when recording. You press it again and when it's a solid red, it means it's on and not muted. Boop. Okay, so right now I currently have both microphones configured to the best settings that they can be at without any post-production. So they're set on the correct modes that would give us the highest quality in our current situation. So right now I'm using the microphone directly built into this camera, but as I'm talking, uh, right, as I'm talking, you'll see that I will switch between these two microphones. So, for example, I'll be speaking into the Blue Snowball, the Yeti, the Blue Snowball, Yeti, Snowball, Yeti. And we'll do a bunch of tests to see which is best. First, I'm going to just be doing a normal talking test. So, Yes, I'm talking right now. I am talking right now. I'm talking right now. I'm talking right now. And yes, it's a, it's a very good talking, great talking. Now we're going to be doing the uh, clipping test so we can see which one clips easier. can obviously hear which one clipped more. So looking at things overall, um, it depends on what your usage would be 
and you know what you're kind of doing with the microphone to determine which one is better for you. Of course, the blue snowball would be good for a budget setup because it's about half the price, again, depending on where you get it, and still has decent audio quality. If you're going for audio quality and customization, on the other hand, you definitely want to go for the Yeti because there's a lot of options you have for making it sound its best, and it just alone has a better sound. If you're going for something portable, I would definitely go for the Snowball because it's lighter, smaller, and easier to move. But if you're going for something more hefty and strong, you go for the Yeti because it's made out of metal. So it depends on your needs, really. But hopefully this video helped you guys pick out a microphone, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.